Hey folks, it's Mike. It's, uh, it's still March and uh, it's still cold out and there's still plenty of snow and ice as you can sort of see in the background here. Uh, today I'm at uh, St. Fatale Park um, and even though I can't take photos, you know, macro photos of, uh, you know, bugs and flowers and, and such, there's still things I can uh, get some nice macro shots of. So welcome once again to more March Macro Madness. And I'm very glad I didn't trip over my words saying that. That's a lot of M's. And by the way, my name is Mike. That's another M. Go figure. Anyway, uh, so yeah, today, uh, as I say, I'm at uh, San Fidel Park and uh, I'm gonna take some photos or, or some macro photos specifically of uh, various things around the park. Um, you know, there's uh, some nice, interesting ice patterns, and uh, um, haven't been able to get close to a goose to take, you know, some nice macro shots of their their feathers, but uh, still trying on that one. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Alright, so step number one for taking macro photos um, on a camera with a macro lens. Uh, in this case it's a Canon 100mm uh, uh, f2.8 EF lens on an well, EFS body. Um, but that's not really important. Um, in most situations uh, today it's been you know sunny out so it's been pretty easy to uh, you know, use the available light to uh, to get uh, the uh, the macro photos that I need. However, there have been some situations where uh, it's a little on the dark side, like uh, there's a patch of trees, um, and uh, in that case, I'll use uh, a setup that my wife likes to use, which is a flash set with uh, one sixteenth power. So you just put that on the hot shoe of the camera. And uh, this funny looking thing, which is a flash diffuser, which she, she's made on her own, uh, a DIY. So at this point, stick the lens through the hole there and stick the, uh, the flash through there. Come on, come on, you can do it, there we go. And there's Velcro strap on the back here just to secure everything together. Uh, so that, uh, yeah, you turn on the camera, uh, turn on the flash and then when you take a photo, uh, all the light from the flash gets directed right around here. Boom, flash. Everything's exposed correctly. So, yeah. Although I do have to apologize to my wife in the making of this video. I think I accidentally tore her, little, her DIY diffuser a little bit. Sorry dear. I, I can try and build a new one for you. More sturdier. Maybe out of wood, steel, I don't know. Something? Sorry. Yep, they're back. Spring's back. Uh, it, it's just a matter of time. Even though, yeah, it's like minus, what, five? It's gonna be that way for the next week. We still got snow and ice on, on the ground. Yeah, the geese are back. Spring is back. Yay! Of course, you have to be. 
guys are so noisy. Yeah, yeah, scratch, scratch, whatever. So, uh, there's a, a goose here with uh, one foot up, one foot down. Um, I don't know if it's because, uh, you know, it's, it's cold out and they, you know, put one foot up to keep it warm and one foot down just so they don't, you know, fall. Um, it, I don't know if they have anti-grav technology or something like that, whatever. Uh, or if it's something they, they learned from cousins uh, down south, you know, flamingos, they, they like, uh, you know, using one foot. To be honest, I don't know why. Science, uh, who knows. Uh, but, uh, you know, I can sort of imagine him going, oh, it's, it's cold, cold, I gotta put one foot away. Oh, oh okay, okay. Oh, that one's getting cold, I better put the other one up. Uh, uh, something like that, who knows. There's Scotty the squirrel there, eating his fourth snack of the day, even though it's about, what, 2.30 in the afternoon? You're really packing it in there, aren't you, Scotty? So, as you can see, all the, uh, you know, since it's still cold out, all the, uh, all the paths around here are uh, covered in ice and snow. So, I, I think I need to stick to the road. Gee. Of course, uh, doing macro outdoors versus indoors. Uh, indoors, I mean, you've got plenty of options like, you know, dice and noodles and, and candy and and uh, even, you know, fine details of like little cameras, for example. Uh, outdoors, um, this time of year can be a bit of a challenge. I mean, you, you don't have things like bugs or flowers to, uh, to take photos of. But I mean, there are definitely interesting textures like, uh, you know, ice and snow, uh, especially when it's all nice and crunchy this time of year. And uh, we've also got, uh, say, for example, this, uh, this totem pole here. Uh, you know, if I go in a little bit here just to show you some of the fine detail, um, you know, it's, it's made of wood, so you can see all the sort of cracks in the wood and the paint. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a different challenge compared to, to indoors, but you can still do it. I mean, come on. Besides, it's, yeah. Um, I will say that uh, this will be interesting in a few weeks when it's all water and mud and yeah, uh, I think I'll get stuck if I, I came back here in a few weeks and tried to do some macro photography. Uh, yeah. You're gorgeous.
Dude, come here. Stop snacking, come here. Okay, so um, I think the flash would work perfectly in a situation like this because it's it's kind of dark enough in this uh, little wooded, okay, three trees. Um, so yeah, I'll just uh, get the uh, camera and the flash ready. Uh, there we go. All right, and... Set my focus. You know what? What I should do, set this to continuous, because I know if I'm gonna, you know, not entirely steady, uh, so at least one of the few shots will sort of end up in focus, so let's give this a shot. Uh, where do I want? There. There. Uh, maybe some bark. Woof woof. There we go. Uh, come on. I should do. Of course, the, uh, also the interesting thing with uh, photographing uh, macro outside is you get, you know, all these nice little texture of ice and snow and even stuff like uh, geese tracks. And I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but uh, there's plenty of geese that have returned to, uh, to the city from their Florida vacation, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, hopefully they brought their passports back uh, and maybe some foods and stuff you can't get in Canada versus the U.S. I hope. Oh, I wonder if they had to pay duty for that too. I've got a couple of squirrels complaining at me, so it's probably time for me to go. Um, and uh, at this point, um, so concludes the month of, well, M March Macro Madness. Um, I'll encourage you to just keep, you know, taking macro photos throughout the rest of the year. I just wanted to dedicate this month uh, to macro photography. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, you, you learn some new, you, new and useful stuff, uh, or some old and useful stuff. Either way, useful. Uh, I'm gonna get going because I, I, I'm cold. It's gonna be cold for the rest of the week. <sighs> On that note, ciao folks. Do the usual, like, comment, subscribe.